Paterno left his mark on, on so very many yeah, people. Yeah, not just the people who played yeah. football for him. Fox 29's John Anderson joins us now with a former Eagles take on all of this, John. Thomas, he's a former Eagle, played with the Philadelphia Stars of the USFL, and the author of a sports book, An Improbable Journey, which includes a mention of Joe Paterno as a hero. Joining me now is Ken Dunnick. Ken, thank you for being here. Nice you, mentioned, you. you mentioned Paterno's the hero because of the clean program, really a model program around the United States, charity work, high graduation rates, still winning football games. Games. You've talked to a lot of former players. Talk about the shock now that this has all come out. Well, I think the emotions have run the gamut between shock, disbelief, anger. Uh, everyone that I talked to today, many of my uh, ex-Penn State uh, uh, players and teammates that I played with the Eagles and Stars, just uh, are going to wait and hold their judgment until they actually talk with Joe because this is unlike anything they know about the man that's been uh, at Penn State since 1950. So now this program has to rebuild. Did they give you ideas or anything? How do they recover? How do they even attempt to do that? Well, I think the thing is when you're talking about a Penn State, you're still talking about a legacy of a program. So having said that, you're going to have taking over a program that is extremely powerful, will continue to draw 100,000 people per home game, and will be a force in college football. I do think think they're going to have to make a clean break when it comes to a new head coach, however. You bring up head coach. Let's talk about that. When you think of head coaches out there that may have to follow a legend, that's a tough job to do. Is it any easier now for the next coach that comes in because the legend here, Joe Paterno, has been tarnished? Actually, in some ways, I think this might make it a little bit easier because people are looking for that clean break, and they know that this has to be something above and beyond anything that had to do with Penn State in the past. So I do think the new head coach coming in will have an advantage over someone that would have taken over for Paterno under normal circumstances. Could be even more pressure. Ken Dunnick, exactly. thank you so much for being with us. Great to be here. Thanks. We appreciate that. Thomas? All right, John.